once I've listened to the lecture and done the readings for the week, or, or if I want to have the questions alongside me while I do the readings, this is where I'd go to get them. So first, I'm going to go uh, to the top of the page in the middle tab option called Classwork. And once I go into Classwork, on the left side of my screen, I can see all of the lessons for the year. So to demonstrate, I will pick Lesson 4. So when I click on Lesson 4, I see my lecture videos that I already watched. Uh, I see the lecture notes that I might have downloaded in case I wanted to take notes on them myself while I listened or, or just have a copy offline. And then uh, I also see the workbook material, which is some background information on the lesson, the prayer for this particular lesson. And now we come to the discussion questions. So it's called Lesson 4 Discussion Questions. And so it says I can click on the document below and type your responses directly into the file. So let me click on this. So clicking on the word discussion questions, the little clipboard icon will open this up. And now over here on the right side, it says your work. So this is my personal responses to these questions. And when I click on that, it opens up a what's called a Google Doc. And that is something like a Word document if you're used to Microsoft Office, but it's the Google brand version of that. And I can type directly into this document my responses. Um, so let's just say, for example, I'll type this is my sample response to this reflection question. Okay. So when I'm all done with all of it, and I could come back and forth during the week. So let's say, and now I'm taking a lunch break. And I can close this out. And when I close it, it's automatically saved. Now, if later on in the week I wanted to come back, I can open up my work again. What I originally typed up is still there. And now maybe I've read further and I'm ready to share some thoughts about these readings. Okay, so let's pretend that I've, I've done all the questions of the week or all the questions that I choose to do because some weeks you might not have enough time to do them all. So I'm gonna click turn in. So this turn in button is just to the left of the big blue one that says share but I'm going to go to turn in. Now, if you're like me and you have more than one Google account, you might have to click the correct account. So I've clicked the correct Google account. So that's the one that I use for my Catholic Biblical School of Michigan Google class. And now I'm going to click turn in. Now, Another technique you can use to work with these weekly discussion questions is you might not like typing them in Google Docs or even typing them online. So you can download them if you'd like to use from your hard drive or to print. So let's go to a different lesson. We'll go to lesson eight as an example. So I got here by clicking classwork, then lesson eight on the left. And I'm gonna scroll down through the lecture videos, the lecture notes, the prayer, the workbook material, the background material, all the way down to these, discu these discussion questions. And again, I can see them. They have this little clipboard icon. So when I click on them, I'm going to open up my work over here. So that's the individual one for me to work on. And if I want to, you can go over to File in the top left. and down to download. So now if I if I like to use Microsoft Word to type it in off of my hard drive, I could click download and do it there. And then I could cut and paste those answers back here. Or I could click PDF, which is a good format that works well for most printers. So if you want to print out a copy of these to be able to jot down some notes during the week, the Microsoft Word and the PDF documents are probably your best choices. So what that looks like is going to vary a bit depending on your computer, but I'll show you on mine. When you select download, 
than PDF. It will ask me where I want to save it. So at this point, it's, it's going to depend a little bit on your computer where you might want to save it um, and then how you might connect to a printer to print it. But remember, this part is completely optional. If you don't want to download it to have it on your hard drive or to be able to print, you can just type the answers here. And then when you're done, click turn in in the top right. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I as an instructor see once you hit submit for your discussion questions. So now that you've turned it in, I own the document in Google Docs. For example, Colleen turned in her document, and now I can see what she submitted. So I'm going to click on that document. And here you can see the questions that were originally in the template and also Colleen's responses. This is my sample response to this reflection question. Now, if I want to make a comment to any of these, I can hit this little button and I can add a comment. So for example, great, oh, good spell, great insight, Colleen. Or I may want to add another comment and say, for example, maybe you might want to think about this. And when I finish making my comments, I will hit return. So now Colleen should get an email back in her inbox indicating that I have returned her discussion questions with my feedback and comments. So after I've gotten an email notification that my teacher Tamara has given some comments on my reflections, now I can see what she wrote. And know that Google Classroom automatically sometimes gives you notifications that say things like, late or homework or grades and kind of some of those school words, but this is not a graded type of school, so those don't apply to us. So if I go over to the middle tab on the top, it's called classwork, and then I can either scroll down to get to lesson four, or I can click it on the side, on the left side, and that'll, that'll help me jump there. And then I scroll back down past the lecture video, past the lecture notes, past the workbook material, past the prayer, past the group discussion area, all the way down to my discussion questions. And now I'm going to go right back over here where I originally worked on them. And you can see that it now says returned, which means that the teacher has given me some comments and I can see it again. So I'm going to click on that to open it. And when I open it up this time, I can see on the right side the comments that Tamara made. And so this is how we go through the cycle of turning in the weekly written reflection or discussion questions they're sometimes called. Know that I try to turn around those feedback or discussion questions roughly within an, a week or two weeks after your submission. So don't panic if you don't hear from me within a day or two. Um, indeed, I, I have gotten your material if you have in, turned it in. So be patient and you will get a returned comment. And the same thing for me teaching year B. It's, it's, it's not instantaneous, but it's usually in, in within one to two weeks. So. Thank you um, so much. And Tamara and I look forward to continuing to communicate with you. And we'll see you in our classes very soon. Bye. God bless.